Denmark's Queen Margrethe II cheers the Jubilee crowd after a family quarrel. Welcome to our channel, before we continue, please subscribe to stay updated with latest information from the Danish royal family. Denmark's Queen Margrethe II wrapped up celebrations for her 50th birthday on the throne on Saturday, joined by her family after a public spat with her youngest son. The 82-year-old monarch took a carriage ride through Copenhagen and attended a ceremony at City Hall. Both events were postponed after the death of Britain's Queen Elizabeth II in September. Now Europe's only queen, Margaret waved from the balcony of the town hall, welcoming a crowd of about 1,500 people to the capital's main square. At the end of September, the queen stripped four of her grandchildren of their titles, sparking unprecedented royal drama and leading her furious second son, Prince Joachim, to spread the family's dirty clothes in public. The Queen announced that the children of 53-year-old Prince Joachim will not be able to use the title of Prince or Princess after January 1. She apologised for the hurt she had caused but said the move was to allow her grandchildren to live normally without royal obligations. Prince Joachim and his wife, Princess Marie, saw this as a slap in the face and breathed their bitterness to the Denmark's Queen Margrethe II cheers the Jubilee crowd after a family quarrel. Welcome to our channel. Before we continue, please subscribe to stay updated with latest information from the Danish royal family. Denmark's Queen Margrethe II wrapped up celebrations for her 50th birthday on the throne on Saturday, joined by her family after a public spat with her youngest son. The 82-year-old monarch took a carriage ride through Copenhagen and attended a ceremony at City Hall. Both events were postponed after the death of Britain's Queen Elizabeth II in September. Now Europe's only queen, Margaret waved from the balcony of the town hall, welcoming a crowd of about 1,500 people to the capital's main square. At the end of September, the queen stripped four of her grandchildren of their titles, sparking unprecedented